in my Today, we're featuring a live and first online simulation demo with no other than our sophisticated and diligent school paper ripples advisor, Miss Jennifer R. Lovino, also known as... <laughs> With us in this event, we have our kind-hearted principal, Ms. Rosana G. Ramos. Of course, in the house too, is our public school's district supervisor, Ms. Mirna G. Soriano. The public school's district supervisor, supervisor in charge, and elementary journalism, Dr. Chofilo R. Narambaba. The public school's district supervisor, supervisor in charge in secondary journalism, Ms. Ayla B. Yorea. And, of course, one of the master teacher too here in Pio del Pilar Elementary School, my loving mom, Ms. Jenny D. Santos. Ladies and gentlemen, a big welcome to this event. A big hello to the journalists and teachers from District 1 to 6, both elementary and secondary. Hello po, and also hello again to my PDPES family, teachers, parents, and learners who are watching right now. Hello there. For our program for today, we started a prayer followed by the singing of the national anthem. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord, as we all say, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Father, we thank you for everyone gathered here now. We thank you that you know each one of us by name and have caused us to walk with you. We say that we are dependent on you and our trust is in you completely. As we surrender ourselves with adoration, we welcome you amongst us today and celebrate the gift of life that you lavish upon each one of us. We ask that you would open our ears so that we may hear your voice. Open our minds so that we may receive your eternal wisdom. Open our spirits so that we may know your leading and guidance. And open our hearts so that we may receive your wonderful love. Lord, we thank you for everyone who are present today. We pray that you would give us great inspiration as we share what you have placed in our hearts. We pray that you would fill us with courage and give us your peace. We pray that you will keep us safe and spare us from the threat of the virus. We ask all this in the glorious name of Jesus. Amen.
Welcome remarks. So, a pleasant day to everyone, to our dear pupils, parents, journalists and teachers, to our master teacher too, Mrs. Santos, to our demonstration teacher, to our very supportive public schools district supervisor, Mamirna Soriano, and most especially to the two very active and indefatigable public, public school district supervisor, Mrs. Ayla Orea and Dr. Chofilo Narumbaba, who made this demonstration less possible. Indeed, this virtual demonstration lesson to be showcased by one of the pride of Pio del Pilar Elementary School in journalism will enlighten the journalism teacher and clear the clouds of uncertainty hidden at the back of their minds. In so doing, it is my pleasure We welcome you to this virtual demonstration lesson of Mrs. Jennifer Lubino. May you have takeaways that you can apply in your own classroom when you do the same. Good day and mabuhay. Yeah. Thank you, Mom Ramos. Let's proceed to the next part of our program, the pre-conference. Let me call the public school's district supervisor, supervisor in charge in secondary journalism, Miss Ayla B. Urea. Good morning, everyone. Am I now Good morning, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Good morning, children. Good morning to our beloved principal, Ma'am Rosana Ramos, and to my fellow supervisors, Ma'am Mirna Soriano, Dr. Chofilo Nurumbaba, and uh, to the master teacher, Ma'am Jenny Santos, and to all the teachers who are here today. And definitely... Sa lahat ng bidang ngayon, Ma'am Jennifer Lovino and to all the campus journalists of uh, Pio del Pilar Elementary School. So, all of you are very lucky today. The lesson for today is about editorial cartooning. So, that is a very interesting lesson in journalism. And uh, whatever Ma'am Jennifer Lovino will be going to... Uh, teach you today, definitely, it's a great learning day. So hopefully, let's pray that there will be no... Uh, and um, I'm Jennifer, thank you for the challenge. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Urea. Now, let's move on to... Children, can you hear me now? <coughs> Give me a thumbs up if you hear me. Advisors, Dr. Narambaba, Ms. Urea, Ms. Soriano. Check. 
question. In English, she had a post baccalaureate degree of education, major in pedagogy in PUP. She was given the TESOL certification by the American TESOL Institute. She had 39 units for a master's degree in ELIS, majoring in administrative supervision. She started in Pio del Pilar Elementary School, teaching in grade 4 for a year, then two years in grade 3. Then she was placed in grade 6, and she was a school paper advisor since then. She is self-directed and an enthusiastic educator with a passionate commitment to student development and learning. And today, we will witness how she handles the grade 6 journalist in class in a new normal setting. And that is Mrs. Jennifer R. Lovino, the pride of Pio del Pilar Elementary School, our demonstration teacher for today. Yes, Gab? Yeah? Thank you, Mrs. Santos. Let's proceed with the much-awaited simulation demonstration. Everybody, let's welcome Miss Jennifer Arlovino and the Grade 6 Journalism class. Stephanie? Yes, ma'am. Okay, go. Classmates, let's bow our heads and feel the presence of the Lord. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank you, Lord, that despite of all the challenges we are facing now due to the pandemic, we still continue our study. Bless us with good immune system, good mind, and good character. And this the new normal life, especially on this new online class. Bless all the, the teachers who have to work so hard in order to do lessons on the internet and other media. Bless also all the students who have to take Ever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Christian and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Classmates, let's greet our teachers and viewers. Good morning, teachers. Good morning, viewers. Good morning, classmates. Welcome to our online class. Classmates, here's our attendance. Based on my monitor, there are 14 girls and 10 boys. And the total is 24 online for the So we are 24. Classmates, let's have our virtual rules. Rule number one, be on time. Be online at least 10 minutes before the class begins. Rule number two, be prepared. Check if your gadget and Wi-Fi connection are well. Rule number three, be attentive. Listen to our teacher while she is explaining. Rule number four, be respectful. Wear appropriate clothes and mute your microphone while someone is speaking. Rule number five, participate actively. That's mate. Let's do our deal. Copy the sentences by stating the correct symbols. Can you do number one? Jamaica. Congressman Bienvenido Abante, Carlos Sarate, and Vilma Santos Recto. Voted for ABS-CBN to return on air. My answer is insert comma and insert period. Congressman Bienvenido Abante, comma, 
Carla Sarate Cama and Vilma Santos Recto voted for ABS-CB and to return on air. Period. Am I correct, Chefe? Yes, you are correct. Number two. The House Judiciary Franchise Committee on June 10 rejected ABS-CBN application for a new franchise. My answer is capitalized B on June and capitalized ABS-CBN. Am I correct, Nathan? Yes, you are correct. Hey, children. Oh, wait. Two people are joining. Ha ha. Oh, it looks pretty dark. Ice cream. Yeah, really delicious. Hi, Joe. Please do the review. Classmates, let's have a review. Matching game. Match the historic event to the cartoon. Can you do number one, Nicole? Number one, ABS CBN franchise, July 6, 2020. My answer is letter D. Am I correct? No, you aren't. The answer of number one is letter C. Am I correct, please, princess? <laughs> Please call another one. Princess is I not. not. Oh, Am I correct, Nance? Yes, you are correct. Number two, Pag-asa Island in Stratley, April 8, 2019. My answer in number two is letter E. Am I correct? Am I correct, Stephanie? Please call another one then. Am I correct, Noah? Yes, you are correct. Number three, COVID-19 pandemic, March 19, 2020. The answer is letter B. Am I correct? Number four, the party class battle drag war. My answer is letter D. Am I correct, Nathaniel? Yes, you are correct. Terrible camera eruption. My answer is A. Okay, so I'm very glad you still remember our previous lesson. Okay. Now, please take a look at these two editorial cartoons. Hey, okay, do you see it clearly? Give me a thumbs up. Children, okay, there you are. Now, based on these two, how do you find opinion base without cartoons and with cartoons? Nicole. Nicole, are you there? If it's without cartoon, it is not entertaining. Mm. Without cartoon, not entertaining. Okay. Uh, I want to let me hear from Nathan. It is less catchy. Less catchy. With or without cartoon? With cartoon. And without yes. cartoon. Without cartoons. Okay. Good. So, now, I 
have here cartoons. Take a look at it carefully and study it well. Can you see it well? Yes. Yes. Okay. What about this? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Based from these two cartoons, children, can you interpret the message behind this editorial cartoon? Nathan? Sir, so, mom, I cannot interpret. Oh, you cannot interpret. What about Nathan? I think Nathan is not there. Well done. Can you interpret it? Yes, ma'am. I can interpret. Oh, what's the message behind this cartoon? President Duterte wants to protect us from drug lords, drug pusher, and drug users. Okay, so that's the that's your own interpretation. Okay, how about this? Who can interpret this cartoon? Okay, so am I raising their hand? Yes, Kelly. Hello. Filipinos are affected in ash hole or struggling because of the taal volcano corruption. Okay. They are asked for uh, that happened in January, right? So, based on these two cartoons, children, what should a cartoonist consider in making an editorial cartoon? Okay, again, based and on these two cartoons, what should a cartoonist consider in making an editorial cartoon? Let me hear from Princess. It should, it should be real. It should be real. Okay. Are there more uh, answers? Eric? Hello, Eric. Are you there? I think Eric line is not really that stable. Yes, Joanne. J.M. Uh, Char. It is meant for critic. It is meant for critic. Okay. So let's find out, children, if your answers uh, are correct later. Okay. So why there is a need for an editorial cartoon? Nigel. Persuade the people to read the uh, article. To persuade the people to read the article. What about the others? Raise your hand if you have some in your mind. Yes, Lou? Lou, are you there? That crust is very crispy, but not as crispy as our script. Lou's line is not that good. Yes, Lou. Okay, let's try another one. What about you, Nicole? Express the editorial cartoonist's opinion. Okay, to express the editorial cartoonist's opinion. Okay, so let's now we're going now to study about the five main elements to convey the point of view okay so look at these two cartoons children what common objects do they have yes noah i did not hear you noah how about staff hello all happen in the Philippines, right? They are all issues in our country. What else? Okay, listen carefully. I said, what 
common objects do they have in this editorial cartoon? Okay, I'm giving you a chance, Jeffrey. Both have Juan de la Cruz. And why did you say that he is Juan de la Cruz? He has Salakot. Correct. Because Juan de la Cruz represents the Filipino people by wearing the native Salakot. And a Barong Tagalog or Camesa de Chino long pants and sleeper and we call this as symbolism using an object to stand for an idea so what element is this lu lu what element is this i think uh, loose line is not really good what about you rana what element is this? Symbolism. Symbolism. Correct. Moving on. Okay. Let's take this one. Okay. Can you interpret the edit the cartoon? Can you interpret it? JM? JM, please unmute your microphone. Yes, ma'am. Yes, what is it? About COVID-19. And why did you say it's all about COVID-19? Because there are possible few is COVID-19. Correct. So, we call this one children as captioning and labels. So, captioning and labels used for clarity and emphasis. Okay, the words here or phrases are what we call the captioning and the labels are the objects or peoples to make it clearer what they stand for okay so what element is this althea captioning and labeling okay next how about this how many objects do you see in here done There are two objects, President and, Duterte and UN. Wow, you're so fast. So, President Duterte and UN. Okay. And this one is what we call analogy. A comparison between two unlike things that share some characteristics. And what characteristic is that? Power. President Duterte, as the president of the Philippines, he has the power. And UN as a big organization so it has a power so what element is this eric analogy analogy there you are eric uh, number four is what we call irony okay in the irony children the difference between the way things are and the way things are expected to be. So this is your number four element. So what element is this, Freya? Freya, what element is this? It's... Yes, Char. Irony. It's irony. Correct. Okay. And the last one is this. Can you describe the physical feature of the cartoons? Who wants to describe the physical features? Who is that? JM. Free mass testing. It's free mass testing. Okay. So when you say free mass testing, what element is this? Mom. Yes, JM again. When you say is that exaggeration? 
Yes, Kelly. Captioning or labels. Yes, captionings or and labels. Okay. So from here, children, I am asking you to describe or what can you say about the physical feature of the cartoons? Yes, Kelly. They have big heads. Big heads. What about you, Nicole? They have bushy eyebrows. All right. And Steph? Big mouth. Big mouth. And what Hi. element is this? We call this as exaggeration. It means overstating or magnifying a problem or physical feature or habit with big nose, bushy eyebrows, large ears, and baldness. So that's what we call exaggeration. So what element is that, Charfei? Charfei. I want to hear others. What about you, Nathan? What element is that? Okay, so based from our topic now, children, can you state the elements of the editorial cartoon, Rana? The five main elements of editorial cartoon are symbolism, caption and label, irony, analogy, and exaggeration. Very good, Rana. Uh, let me hear from Noah. Five elements of editorial cartoon are symbolism, captioning and labeling, analogy, irony, and exaggeration. Very good. So, since you now know the elements of editorial cartoon, can you differentiate it? Or, I mean, can you differentiate the different elements of editorial cartoon? Let's start from Althea. You're raising your hand. Uh, is that Althea? Yes, it's Althea. Symbolism. Oh, symbolism. What is it? Althea, what does it mean when you say symbolism? Yes, Nicole, I think uh, Althea is out. Mom, nandiyan po siya, Mom. Oh, she's there. Again, Althea, sorry. I did not hear you clearly. Can you say it again? Symbolism. You say it again to stand for an idea. All right, right. What about you, Steph? Very good. Nicole? Um, comparison of two unlike things that share the Okay, what about you, Dan? Oh, I'm having a network and connection. Mm hmm all right, very good, children. And my last question before we go with your application. Why elements of editorial cartoon is important, Nigel? It is important to see what is the content and the points of view of the editorial cartoonist. What a great answer. Okay, so let's do now your application. In the, in the application, you study the editorial cartoon carefully, then answer the analysis worksheet in your drill board or notebook. I know your drill board and notebook are already prepared. Okay, but before we do that, let's me uh, let's take a look at first with the rubric for individual work. Can you read that one? Uh, I'll say yeah. Two points for excellent. Two points for very good. Two points for 
good. Fast eyes, fast fire. These are objects and symbols of the editorial cartoon. These objects and symbols is equivalent to five points. These objects and symbols is equivalent to five points. Three objects and symbols is equivalent for two points. Three objects and symbols is equivalent for two points. These are the adjectives of the editorial cartoon. Two adjectives is equivalent for five points. Two adjectives is equivalent for five two points. Two adjectives is equivalent for three points. Zero adjectives is equivalent for two points. Five elements is equivalent for five points. Two elements is equivalent for four points. Two elements is equivalent for three points. Two elements is equivalent for two points. All right. So these are your rubrics. So now to take your uh, to answer and take your uh, worksheet. Yes. Okay. yes. Please do the uh, descriptive uh, points, uh, Althea. Excellent to spend time. You are the next regional cartoonist. Very good. 10 to 13 points. You are the next regional cartoonist. Good. 9 points and below. You are the next division cartoonist. Okay. So that would be the points. You're going to give your own points. Okay, let's, here's now your cartoon analysis worksheet. I will give you, this is just one to two minute activity. Give me a thumbs up if you are done. Mm. Wow, Kelly is so fast. She's already done. Uh. Are you done? Let's wait for the others. They're still doing it. <coughs> Eric, show me your camera. And Renee, show me your camera. <laughs> JM, please turn off your microphone. Okay. Who are done? Kelly is done. Jamaica, Althea, done. Nathaniel, oh, I guess all of you. What about Nigel? Are you done? No. No. Okay. Steph, done. Nathan, not yet. Priya is done. Charfei. No. No. Okay. Okay, for those who are not yet done, please give me a thumbs up emoticon when you are done. All right, Nigel is already done. What about Charfei? Are you done? Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's take a look now, please. Um, my uh, take.
take a look at your answers. All right. Number one here, it says, list the objects or people you see in the cartoon. What are the objects or people you see in the cartoon? Yes, no one. Noah? Okay, I think Noah. Rona? Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Okay, another one. Lou? Lou, I cannot hear you. Okay, what about the others? Yes, Noah again. Juan de la Cruz. Juan de la Cruz. Another one. Yes, Dan. E. Mm -hmm. Another one. Yes, Jamaica. Jane. Jane. Are there more? Yes, Mark Nathaniel. Vaccine. Vaccine. Okay. So, that are uh, those are the... Objects. So, how many objects are there? Six. Five. We have the coronavirus. Then, we have the Juan One. de la Cruz, chain, then the key, vaccine, and what is this? Salakot. Salakot. Right? Okay. So, now, what about, now you can give now your own points. What about the other Describe the emotion portrayed in the cartoons. There must be three possible uh, adjectives. Yes, Steph. Fire. Fire, correct. Kate. 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 Are you there? You're raising your hand. I'll say a Kate. Scared. I get scared, correct. Another one. Yes, uh, Mark. Bored. Bored. Another one. Okay, those are the three possible adjectives. Okay, give points to yourself, to your work. I mean, let's uh, take a look at number three. Please, the elements of an editorial cartoon portrayed in the cartoon. What are the elements used in the cartoon? Nicole. Captioning and labeling. Ah, that's the captioning and labeling. That's the vaccine and the people or objects. Okay. What else? Nathan? Symbolism. Symbolism. And that is, uh, what symbolism is that? There are many symbolism in there. Right? All right. So we have also, yes, Matthew? Matthew, what is it? Nigel? Can you hear me, children? Yes. Okay, so Matthew is not on the line. Uh, what else? Uh, what other elements of an editorial cartoon portrayed in here? Yes, Nathan. Did you hear Nathan, children? Hello, did you hear Nathan? Sabi po ni Nigel, exaggeration po. Ah, okay. Alright, so what about you, Nathan? What's your answer? No answer? 
So we have already three. How many elements are there in this cartoon? There must be five elements. What are the another two? Rana. Hi, hi. Are you all there? All your hands are black. So I don't know if uh, my line has a problem. Acharfe, what other element is included here? Irony. Irony. And the last one? Yes, JM? Analogy. Analogy. Correct. Okay, so give points now to your work and then a screenshot and send to our FB group, uh, FB group chat after our class. I'll give you five seconds to compute your score. Okay, so let's do now the evaluation. Who would like to Evaluation. Identify the elements of the editorial cartoon in the sentences. Type your answer in the chat box, then wait the signal before sending it. Okay. So, you're going to type your answer in the chat box. Wait for my signal. Are you ready now? Okay. Yes, Paul. Give me a thumbs up if you are done so I can move to the next slide. Done? Please send now your answers in the chat box. Two are already sending it. Three. What about the others? Okay, so here are now your answers. Right? Okay, so Kelly. All right, so I think most of you got perfect scores. Others are four, some are three. Oh, okay, so later I will browse all again your works. So let's do now the last part. Jamaica, please do your, please read your home based test. Is Jamaica still there? Okay, Lou, can you do the home based test? Draw an editorial cartoon on the issue of our. I think uh, we have a very unstable line, and I guess, yeah, it's, I have already here a, uh, 
it's easier uh, internet unstable okay draw an editorial cartoon on the issue of our medical frontliners that shows any of the above mentioned elements screenshot your work and submit to our fb group chat all right children that's all for today see you again tomorrow bye bye bye, bye. 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 bye.